Man, this rumor mill keeps on moving with Final Fantasy VII going to the Switch. And it, it's it's crazy, isn't it? It seems like if you just mention it on Twitter, especially if you say you have sources, people freak out. I mean, this whole thing probably blew up more than it should have. And I think they realized this because they did some follow-up posts to it. So, you know what, let's, let's just talk about what happened real quick. So if you don't know, on Twitter yesterday, Distify posted a few interesting things regarding E3, specifically rumors that they've heard from a second-hand source. What it, I'm not really sure what that means. I don't know if that's somebody on the inside who has some sort of in with developers or marketing or even the whole E3 setup. It's hard to say. But here's the, here's the tweet that they put out. Speaking of E3, I heard from a second-hand source. We're getting Final Fantasy VII Remake for Switch, and it should be shown at E3. So there it is, right? I guess Final Fantasy VII Remake is coming to the Switch at E3. Well, let's let's be realistic here, guys. I mean, this is not from Nintendo. This is not from Square. This is from a Twitter account. There's a reason why, if you go to most forums, let's take uh, GameFAQs or, or even NeoGAF, for example. They're, they're, they seem to crack down on this a lot. You can't cite Twitter. <laughs> you just, you can't, you're not allowed to. They they shut it down quick. I mean, this is evident of this same tweet here. People went to NeoGAF, posted about it. That thread exploded with replies. I mean, it got to like 13 or 14 pages before it was finally shut down a few hours later. I mean, it was going crazy. People were talking about it. That isn't even possible. And at this point, I think it's 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 evident that people want this game and they're even willing to latch on to any quotes or, or any little bits that people can put out there for it. Even if it's from someone on Twitter that's just kind of saying second source, I heard this and that. And it starts to become a talking point and it starts to feel, I guess, more real to other people that it's coming. I mean, Distify went out further and said, please don't treat this as a fact. It's just something I heard from someone I consider to be reliable should be an exciting E3 either way. So even uh, Distify themselves are saying, don't take what I am telling you as fact. It's, it's, it's really, it's just a rumor that I heard from someone that I think is reliable enough to be trustworthy to post it on my Twitter where I have over 100,000 followers. If you have a large Twitter, you really need to understand that people will latch onto this and it will spread like wildfire. And eventually rumors turn into facts to some people. And at some point down the road, someone will say it's coming, expectations are heightened. And if it doesn't happen, people get mad. And I think that's the real problem here is that there are going to be people now going into E3, expecting Final Fantasy VII Remake to be announced on the Switch. I mean, there is no doubt in their mind that it's being announced. You really need to look at this stuff and say, is it from Nintendo? Is it from Square? No, don't get your hopes up. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Don't get your hopes up until we hear something from Nintendo or Square about Final Fantasy VII Remake, or even until we get to E3 and it's up on their big screen, and here's Final Fantasy VII coming to the Switch. Now, it is interesting. We have heard a lot about this from different rumors here and there, and random sources, secondhand sources in this case. I think there is some merit to this showing up on the Switch at some point. I do think, though, Sony has some sort of, of timed exclusive set up, though, uh, with, with Square, although Square has really been happy with Nintendo, at least it seems like they have been. They've been really happy with Nintendo recently and what they're doing with the Switch in Japan, so I would not be shocked at this point if Final Fantasy VII Remake shows up on the Switch. I honestly, with you guys, I would be more shocked if it showed up on the Xbox with how the Japanese developers view the Xbox as it's not very good to them, but the Switch seems interesting to them because it's selling like crazy in Japan. I do see the Switch passing the PS4 possibly in the next year and a half. Not even kidding. It will probably pass it in sales that quickly. And at that point, if you're a Japanese developer and this system is taking over your, what is essentially your hometown, you're going to develop for it. That's just the way it is. And the fact that it's an Unreal Engine 4, I don't think is a coincidence. I think Nintendo knows this was happening. I think they see the shift to Unreal Engine 4. We see it with Snake Pass, for example, that it is easy to develop and move stuff back and forth on Unreal Engine 4. I think Kingdom Hearts 3 and Final Fantasy 7 Remake being in Unreal Engine 4 gives the Switch a great chance to see it but it's gonna come down to licensing and business agreements. That is the biggest thing because Nintendo has not been the easiest company to work with in the past. So it's going to be up to them and Square coming together with a deal that is good for both of them, money-wise especially, and that's what it's gonna take, you know? And Sony has to be happy with it too because let's, let's face it, Sony probably has some kind of agreement with Square in place for that game, not Kingdom Hearts, but for that game, that it's going to be on Sony's platform first. That's why we've had heard nothing about it for the Xbox at this point. So 
that those are my thoughts on that guys don't get hopes up especially don't get them up heavily you know don't don't go into this expecting we're going to see it be go in with low expectations and be pleasantly surprised like everyone else who watches e3 and doesn't completely scour the internet for rumors so that's all for now guys i i hope it comes over don't get me wrong i you know what i probably would get it on the ps4 though especially if i have a 4k tv by then with my ps4 pro but i have to say <laughs> the switch's portability is so enticing i i honestly i'm not kidding i might get it twice i might get it once on the switch and i might get it on the ps4 but i'll also take a look at the visuals because maybe the switch with unreal engine 4 comes a little closer than we think resolution obviously be smaller textures probably be changed overall but it'd probably be the same game. So, but we'll see guys. E3 is so close. It really is. Don't get wrapped up in rumors leading up to it. Let's just see what they have for us. And then we can talk about the facts that are presented. Okay. So let's have some fun at E3 guys. I will see you next time. <laughs>